This is Hiring on All Cylinders. Live from HR Tech. Okay, HR Tech, it is that time again. Hiring on all cylinders takes to Ether once more, and I am thrilled this time to be joined by Dan Bononi. He is the CEO of Office of Vibe. Dan, how's it going? How are you doing? It's a pleasure to be here today. Doing really well. I'm just curious what your takes are on the show so far. I mean, it's really nice. I like the initiative. I like uh, you know spreading all that knowledge around the different trends and, uh, and everything that's happening in HR Tech right now. What's, uh, what's kind of like an emerging theme you're seeing so far in the show? I think there's a lot of consolidation around different technologies. I think it used to be different silos, whereas right now people are trying to see it as more of a, a full employee experience. Uh, and I definitely think that's, that's where it's heading. Yeah. So then um, Office Vibe is a company that sort of pulls employees to assess their moods. Why is that important to keep like, your finger on the pulse of, of your Absolutely. Employees? Um, so, so as you know, three out of four employees are unhappy or disengaged at work, right? Uh, that's costing a ton of money. We're talking about $500 billion per year. Um, and what we think is that we should see work the same way that we see relationships in a way that, um, let's say you're with your girlfriend. Um, I don't think you guys give each other feedback once per year, right? That doesn't make any <laughs> sense. Uh, and it's the same thing at work. I think we should just treat work as relationships between people. And, yes. and that's why we have this, this big trend around, even Google, like they, they, they go through like this whole process of people ops which makes a ton of sense. Um, and it's the same thing. For us, it's just a way to say, hey, let's make feedback a lot easier. Let's make it real time. And let's, more importantly, focus on taking action on that feedback uh, and not necessarily dive too deep into the metrics and, and get lost. Yes, I'm glad you said that because I was about to follow up with, um, once you have some information on someone's moods and how they're feeling at work and how they relate to their job, what is the action you take? Correct. Uh, so we're, c- compared to other people in the, in the same sector, we're not trying to go um, too deep into the metrics, and that's actually on purpose. Our job is to target um, the main managers, or the frontline managers. We know that they're super busy. We know that they don't necessarily have the HR background, um, yeah, you know, and a PhD from Stanford in, in human resources, right? So um, we try to make it as easy as simple as possible. So we just give them resources, education, and quick actions that it can take to try to make their team better based on their own metrics. So then is this, uh, this feedback you provide, is this about just like general happiness? Is it about like career trajectory? What is the, what is the ideal sort of conversation to have with, the, with, with your employees at this point? Correct. So, so we track a bunch of things. Um, it goes from like relationship with managers, uh, you know, happiness at work, wellness, and those different trends. And so based on what we see, we try to make those people focus on um, the key metrics that are the lowest to them and really try to make it as simple as possible to take action on, on those metrics. So then what are some of those uh, actions? Like, would you say, do you probe them into a room? Do you say, hey, what are your long-term goals? What does that look like? Yeah, so we, uh, we have this thing called insights. So what we do is basically identify the four key actions that it can take. Uh, and it can be as simple as just having a retro with our team uh, and identify the key, the key parts that they have because we identify that frequency of communication between, uh, let's say, the manager from the marketing team and, and his employees uh, is too low. So like, we, we know exactly what kind of actions they should take. So we try to make it as precise as possible when it comes to recommendations. How did you determine those key areas on where you should follow up? Yeah, uh, so it's based on a bunch of research, right? So, so Gartner, Gallup, uh, Towers Watson, they did a ton of research as well. Uh, we, we also did our own research, um, research from Deloitte as well. And so we try to base off what are the main um, categories that are more recurrent in that sector and try to make it as simple as possible for the managers. So we're not trying to, we're not trying to cover like 125 metrics. We'd rather have 10 that are very clear and actionable for them uh, to focus on. So like what are a couple examples of those metrics? Yeah, uh, so relationship with managers, relationship with colleagues, recognition, feedback, wellness, uh, happiness at work, happiness at home, uh, and so on and so forth. I love it. So walking around the show floor, what are some of the, uh, like, what are you excited about the show, I guess? What are, what are like the trends you're seeing emerge? What's uh there's a lot of stuff around AI, yep. which I think is really interesting as well. Um, I also think it's a, it's a buzzword that's very easy to use. Absolutely. Um, but I think it's interesting to really dive, instead of being submerged into metrics, we're trying to see what are the, the easy actions that we can take. And I see a lot of different uh, companies, small or big, that are focusing on that aspect. And I think that's very important. Um, maybe another part that's also interesting is the, the whole notion of employee experience. And so I have more of a designer background which I just translated into HR. And when you think about um, 
HR more in terms of like a, a holistic experience where people go through process of onboarding, uh, you know, their whole employee tenure all the way to their exit pretty much. It's a, it's a full cycle that should be designed and could be designed in a much more optimal way to make people happier at work. Yes. So when you, it's interesting that you go from a designer to this, uh, to a role as founding this, uh, this HR company. So I'm curious why, why employee engagement? Was there some sort of background you had or experiences that you said this needs to be fixed? Yeah, actually my, my main passion is how people can be motivated to take action. Um, and how this can have an impact on an organization, right? So I did a bunch of stuff while I was uh, still in college. Um, and then I moved to Boston. I did a bunch of stuff, but it was mainly around people. So to me, it was just like HR, the industry itself, um, we, we were actually in it before it was as growing and sexy as it is right now, just out of pure passion. Uh, I think culture is one of the most important aspects that people just start to realize is really important. It has a, a huge ROI as well um, on the bottom line. I love it. Daniel Bononi, CEO of Office Vibe, thank you so much for stopping by. This has been great. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.